is. There it is. There it is. Wow! I love this shit! What a shot, fellas! Wow! My god! This is such a relief! Yeah, stand tall, my man! Well, hello, this is your man JC from Real and Simulated Wars. It has been a week already since the release of this massive update for Sealed Beasts 4.3. It's a paid uh, update, but mind you, it is very, very extensive. There is a lot of new features. I tried to assemble this scenario just to showcase gameplay on the T-72, but, you know, there is so much to explore that I'm going to be putting some content about drones and loitering munition and uh, one of the things that i want to mention is that uh, this update or co coincident with the, up uh, the update itself uh, some maps were released uh, very detailed areas of the ukraine uh, i believe it is kharkiv uh, donetsk it is really amazing but i have to tell you guys it feels too close to home so I'm not using those today, I just decided to go for this fictional setup which I self-edited. This is centered in Syria, yeah. Russians having a war with Syria. Uh, mind you, this is just a setup to showcase what the gameplay about uh, the T-72 is. And it is very simple, I have been repeating myself with these type of things. There is a crossroad there, Object Buratino that, uh, well, we have to take with uh, this company team type of team. There is uh, scouts which we're going to be uh, using to conduct some reconnaissance and plus more. So uh, let's dive into the gameplay without any further ado. And yes, uh, mind you, I am playing this directly from the editor just because it allows you to see and to get uh, some nice views over the battlefield. If I could be, you know, in real, in real uh, playing mode, I wouldn't have the, the you know, the ability to, to watch these uh, different places. So again, the setup it is to take over Objetic Buratino. Of course, it's a company, <laughs> a company-sized team, plenty of, plenty, like uh, two platoons of infantry, plus uh, where I am, I'm sitting right now, which is a T-72B3. Uh, we're going just to, you know, take Objective Buratino, which is a very small. We just need a foothold or a toehold into this uh, crossroads town. There is, of course, not enough troops to take over um, the entire town, so I'm going to leave it that. So on order, and uh, in order to showcase uh, some of the new features, I'm going to be using drones. 
So these uh, scout team right here, this is a team of three people. I am going to be using a drone to conduct a reconnaissance over the objective area and see what the opposition looks like. So welcome to the 3D world of Stealth Beasts. And this is my scout team, I just jumped into it. They are somewhere in the west of the map. And first thing that I want to highlight, this interface down there with all the keys and the shortcuts for everything. Uh, this is very useful for the forgetful like me. I use it usually have like, you know, write down what key would do now you have these uh, very nice icons and as you can see I just press it one of them and uh, just deploy the the drone over there which is uh, really awesome so I'm gonna just uh, launch our guy using uh, this button right there and uh, I'm going to be using regular controls I'm gonna give it the march order to go here and there so you have to give them um, some sort of flying height fly height is gonna be 100 uh, 200 meters and off you go now we will activate the camera and this is the camera interface we're going towards the objective the second objective which is right there you can pan in and pan out this really a wonderful interface and of course you have you have a thermal view and uh, you can change the polarity right now the view is very pixelated but uh, you can see already that there are some could appears to be some troops right there yeah these are troops and apparently they are into one of these new features which is uh, trenches yeah there we go so there is a big trench in front of that compound over there and there is another group of infantry if I remember correctly somewhere around there oh yeah there they are the bridge apparently has no vehicles whatsoever which is a good thing what is happening with that trench It's so dark oh it is flooded just to add to the misery of these poor grunts yeah you can see them and uh, you know if you overfly oh there we go heavy machine gun that is going to be fun and then we're going to move east that is objective uh, Buratino up there the town and uh, wow I see two tanks three tanks a platoon of tanks yeah most definitely it's to the west of objective Buratino these guys can rain some fire onto my advance towards Buratino. So that's going to be a question of how I do this. I don't know what type of tanks is it, but you know, you can recognize them by uh, asking for a close up. Yeah, these are T-72s. You can have also a composite view, which is very interesting. So platoon of tanks. 
west of Buratino. We'll have to remember that. And uh, apparently not too much else. There is no obvious um, ambushes. Ambushes. An object the Buratino appears to have some infantry into it. Which is gonna be interesting to eliminate. So different zoom levels. So obviously if you want to see real details you have to use just the regular camera. There is another trench over there. And now in the crosshairs there is either a heavy machine gun or a launcher. Oh, I see a tank. There's two vehicles. What is this? That's a VTR. And I see a main gun protruding out of a building. Yeah, that has to be a tank. A T-72. And this appears to be an anti-tank anti missile in that trench. Also custom added. Going to zoom out. There is this other trench, largely unoccupied. But wow, heavy machine gun. Mind you, and this is known, the characters in the the characters, the the, the soldiers in, in the trenches are kind of floating. This is an abstraction just to give them height into their firing position. Not that I mind too much about that. So these trenches, and we will see it in gameplay, they are not that easy to eliminate. Which is a great, great thing. And in and, and the last view of that T-72 from the Syrian army, right in the middle of Objective Buratino. Okay, enough fun with the drone. We're going to fly it, just press that, and the thing automatically flies back to its team. So, that's it. Great reconnaissance of the target area, of the two target areas. And uh, let's remember what we found. So, I'm going to go back to uh, the map view. And again, if you remember correctly, there is infantry here, there is a platoon of Syrian tanks here, one tank here and a, a BTR apparently. Um, that BTR, I, uh, I should have uh, provided better reconnaissance of it. I didn't check if it is an AT variant or something like that. So, to take Objective Buratino, we're going to be subject to fire from here, but I have the hope that um, at least uh, we can, you know, approach and provide some uh, support by fire to the infantry. I'm not going to make too much of the tactics here, because honestly, uh, it is not about that, and I'm very bad at tactics too. The second thing that I wanted to show you, it is this team right here, which I'm going to jump to. And there it is. This team, it is a reconnaissance team and has one sing, uh, swing blade loitering munition, which is something that I am going to use right now. So again, great interface deploy the thing 
and uh, we're going to give it uh, we're going to launch it so what do we do with it I want to destroy that Syrian tank in objective Buratino I just want to take it out uh, I am concerned of the combo tank plus uh, <laughs> the anti-tank missile team so let's just take it out so I'm gonna fly this thing and I'm gonna plot like a very simple course just to go to the target area again don't forget to give it a height to fly 150 meters and then I want to go into camera view so these are the controls for the swing blade So I'm going to arm it and I'm going to put it into navigation mode which allows me to use you know the waypoints that I plotted with the help of the map interface again I'm very bad at flying these things I get disoriented with the camera I'm, I'm not too much of a drone person so this thing has an automatic uh, locking system which is just great and has also an automatic uh, not targeting but detection system it has a limit though when it comes to range That's why, oh, there it is. Let me just pick it that. We're going to target this. And then I'm going to press the fire button. Oh, it went away. There it is. Now it's locked and it is flying towards the objective. You see these red areas are the BTR on the left. And the T-72 tank. So mind you, sometimes you get very nice catastrophic uh, kills, but sometimes you don't. I manage it just to damage um, a truck or something like that. And you see, you know, obstacles everywhere. Hold on. This is from the scout's point of view. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how nice is that like you know the sound comes back into the uh, scout team kind of delayed which is just an awesome feature uh, very good sound engine for steel beasts I always say it. make use of it like you know turn off your engines and hear where the enemy is because you can hear their engines so um I hope we destroyed that uh, T-72, of course it's out of view, look at the, this is like the corpse of the uh, loitering munition and uh, we're going to be moving with our tanks, the time has come, so I, this uh, is a pre-plotted uh, route that we have here and uh, I have it on the halt so we're going to just move ahead and let's go to the main theme of this video let's jump into this t t72 all right jump to this unit here we are i'm gonna be using mainly the gunners uh area and uh we have the regular you know uh gun sights for the T-72 but we have also this TIS or thermal view which is quite an awesome system so let me show you this one 
first it's just a daytime view oh I didn't check that minaret over there but you can see we can uh, use the laser range finder to find the range this 1.5 I didn't check it with a with the drone I hope it is not occupied and it's not a freaking observation post for the infantry so second uh, uh, I have mapped into the thermal view this is a very nice system has a lot of zoom power and it has a targeting system that is a pleasure to use feels almost like cheating but you know it makes sense given the current state of technology I don't know exactly which system is this I saw it mentioned in the tutorial for uh, for the gunner position in the, in steel beasts but I don't quite recall the exact name of it so again don't forget to use the auto loader we have seven rounds of uh, sabot and uh, well we're going to be looking over to our right for those uh, T-72s that are you know in the far uh, west oh we're seeing some infantry there they don't have they are there in the roof kind of saw them when uh, we were transitioning uh, with the drone Our fellows are already firing at that infantry, I suppose. Or maybe at the tank. I saw some smoke over there. Oh, there it is. Oh, it is alive. It survived the swing blade. Outstanding. I just wasted. I just don't back up. Did I kill this guy? No, I didn't. Is it dead already? Want to make sure there's a lot of smoke or dust that was lifted. I think it is dead now. Yeah, that guy is dead. Still have those troops in on the top. So uh, now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna load uh, high explosive uh, rounds. And uh, I'm gonna waste another uh, Sabot round on this guy. Oh, I forgot to activate the autoloader, so this is handy. I am, well, first things first. There is like a, a small, very small hill that is protecting us from our right flank remember that platoon of T-72s so now what I want to take a look at it is that missile team um, what I'm going to do because I'm sure that as I move forward my platoon is gonna be uh, kind of you know deploying in a in a line and they're going to be exposing their right flank so I'm gonna give them a column formation they are slowly pulling back and uh, while they do that I'm gonna take care of the missile team
me see if I can there we go I saw a missile already launch it but they don't want to obscure my view so suppression works kind of nice uh, you see them what about my right flank uh, you see them uh, you know duck in and then they pop back I believe I killed them that was easy that doesn't happen to me I have to make sure we don't have a <laughs> indirect fire support but um, if that would be the case Yeah, there are troops everywhere. Like these guys on top of that building. Just to make sure and, and for fun, um, we should fire at them. Okay, so right flank is still, we're in good shape. take care of these guys over here very tricky to hit them when they are in the roof oh that was a good hit whoever was who fired that okay that's great so the missile team is gone I don't see the freaking launcher. Is that it? Yeah, that's the launcher. And there is nobody there. What about our right flank? Yeah, we have that hill over there. We'll have to... Uh, even when we have... That would mean to have a left flank expose it. We'll have to do it. We'll have to engage those tanks. Um, I don't think that any infantry team is going to be sneaking on us. It's all open terrain. So let's just do the other guys. All right. So I'm going to deploy into a line formation. And slowly advance. Thermal view. Gunner, coax, troop, fire the job. Very, very slowly. Oh no, stop! Stop fire that! That's a machine gun team, apparently. The one that we observed on, on the trench shouldn't be worried about that. Stop! Stop! Jesus Christ! I don't remember how to override. I hate the commander when he goes like squirrel, squirrel! Thanks. Ah, that hit in the tree line. You can see them, they are... Oh my god, forgot to... Auto-reload. The tree line is gonna be bothering. But they are apparently retreating, which is a good thing. Oh yeah, there is plenty of smoke there. 
Okay. See some glimpses, but this is gonna be interesting. So let's move a bit forward. Just I have, I'm just hoping that you know we're going to be, we're going to be able to just get through the tree line. But these are uh, palm trees. They are too close together. And the line of sight is completely ruined. I see we have one tank apparently immobilized. The day is not going great. Looks to me that they have retired. They retreated. Where is that PC? Look at that, how cute. Oh, that machine gun over there. In the meantime, I'm forgetting that I have a uh, an entire platoon of tanks in just in front, mind you. So this is no good for the follow-up infantry. Okay, that will do. Oh, look at them. Take care of this. Where in the hell are the other tanks? Oh god. Okay. It's like I'm having... And I cannot use the scouts to peek around, so I will have to I will have to man it up. What happened to you? Immobilize it. Okay, so let's just make ourselves as thin as we can and move into that direction. Should be fun. That's a good reference point. We should be behind that building or a structure. Oh, what is that? All right, all right.
That's definitely a tank. Right there, marauding and it's not safe to take a shot. Yeah, they're throwing a the smoke. That bounced up. That ammo counter is freaking me out. So this is beyond the compound. I still have my wing, man. There we go. I can see the infantry. You saw <laughs> this is just beautiful. The tanks are nowhere to be seen. He's shooting at the infantry. Yeah, tanks nowhere to be seen. Fire, fire so this is not a good position for reloading. Maybe under the cover of that compound over there, which was the initial tank position, maybe it's worth a place to be uh, located on. I just have uh, three rounds. Okay, I'm gonna move forward.
The problem is... I don't want these tanks to bounce on us while I'm, you know, reloading or something like that. Fire. Oh yeah, there is infantry, infantry, infantry. So, okay. Identify. On the way. Over. Re-engage. So... I'm going to order a reload and eventually I will have to go and just uh, chase down those tanks I have the icon there. Apparently, you know, to the to the south of the infantry, but um, there is not too much that I can do. So, come on, reload, reload, reload. So I'm gonna cut the video here because this reloading part is time intensive so join me in a few minutes okay so I am reloaded now and I made the decision it is too risky to pull out uh, through that uh, open plane just to go back to objective Buratino and support by fire uh, for the troops attack so uh, I'm going to do the following. I'm gonna just drive this tank and try to make contact again with the armor up ahead. The odds are not good. It's one against three, but it just feels bad to be, you know, retiring, uh, like, you know, retreating all over this open space. I fear I'm gonna be jumped. So, and besides, you know, this is just a game. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, detach this guy and uh, I'm gonna make it go back a couple of meters. Now he's giving his back. Jesus. So, um, let me make a full circle, circle. Ah, nice of you, dude. Well, he's detached, but he's giving his butt over there. So, uh, okay. Never mind. I will just uh, move ahead. I'm gonna need my thermals. And I'm gonna take my tank. Right there. I'm gonna put me that keyhole over there infantry everywhere
The other thing it is I cannot for go forward too much because even when I didn't see um, missile teams on it Uh, they have RPGs, you know? Ah, uh, stop that shit. I see something. Just want a clear line of sight. That's the bridge over there. What is that? What is that? It has to be a tank. Okay. Fire now. Yes! One less. There's a turret that has been flown away. Good shot, good shot. Well, if these guys are not showing up, what is the range, by the way? 1,000 meters. I just cannot afford to do this. Getting too close. Now, they're in the reverse slope. Oh no, they're not. I thought it was like a reverse slope situation there. Give me some range, give me some range. 1000 meters. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. I will have to go back to Objective Buratino. So I'm gonna pack. I'm gonna have to hide my... This is not nice. Ugh. 
this is the dumbest thing that they ever done in Steel Beasts. I hope the smoke is kind of covering me. Coming through, coming through. Okay, so I want my tank back, please. I, I sincerely hope that that smoke is helping us because uh, I just want to support my fire. Stop. I just want to keep some distance from the uh, built up area. And support by fire while my uh, infantry moves up. I believe that this is a good distance. Oh my god, I will have to drive this guy. Oh, look at him. So, that 
guys in mobilized. I don't know what happened to him. Oh, he lost a truck. Not a complete loss. Which is okay. The other tank is arriving for support by fire mission. Yeah, there is infantry left over there. Just want to target that area. And now it's going to be time to move the infantry. Okay, so in previous videos I have uh, shown how to coordinate IFBs plus infantry. So what I want to do, just for demonstration purposes, because I understand that maybe this is, you know, a situation where you want to move the infantry all the way, uh, I mean the vehicles, the IFBs, all the way up to Objective Buratino to almost like, I don't know, maybe 700 meters or something like that, and then dismount. Um, but uh, just for demonstration purposes, I would like to do that in a very... Uh, in an extended way, like make the infantry to dismount at an early uh, stage and uh, just to get them move along with their IFBs. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it on the fly. Previously in my videos I have shown you how to do it just by scripting during the mission uh, scenario generation. Uh, not the case anymore. So, um, I just want to leave these tanks in a good position. Alright, so I'm going to grab this one second platoon. And uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a dismount point. I'm going to have them march here. So right here I'm going to create a new waypoint. And this waypoint is going to be uh, four tactics of stay I'm gonna give them a you know fire marker or a area of interest that is pretty close so they don't move but I believe that the stay order is gonna make them just a stay <laughs> I'm going to say to them you will have to dismount and uh, that's pretty much it so the posture for the infantry is going to be standing I believe and then I'm gonna just spread another uh, route which is going to be assault and don't get me wrong, I know that, you know, a one kilometer assault is just too much. I just like those ta tactics because the infantry is not so prone to stop and, you know, to get uh, so shy about advancing. But the thing about this is going to be that uh, the, uh, the infantry will have to move with the IFBs and the uh, troops no change and that's basically it so in the past you could do this by using um, scripting not scripting but you know using triggers and whatnot right now you can do it on the fly which is absolutely great so uh, oh I also, for that advance, the speed is going to be 6 kilometers, and that's pretty much it. So let's move the infantry up. Let's march them up right there and 
and uh, you know I cannot drive these guys so I'm going to just uh, move them right there I jump it into this unit and now it is to wait until they move up to the dismount point that dismount point could be great to have something to pop up smoke but that this vehicle apparently doesn't have that possibility I wonder why I see the smoke launchers over there I was just not able to to order it so there we go and uh, well this is something that I don't like that you know the IFBs do start to move around not really an optimal thing probably they're going to you know be adopting their and also they tend to get very worked out about the infantry not the stomping over the infantry it gets really freaking crazy but now here comes the new feature of stilt beasts that I really like and that is we can we have the vehicles and then we have the infantry so if I order you know in the old times if you click in the vehicle you think that you're clicking on the entire unit you are not you're clicking just in the vehicles as you can see graphically there in order to move the infantry with the vehicles it could be like a question of <gasps> you know selecting everything plotting a, um, a, a route for each infantry unit not the case anymore because this is a new feature for steel beasts look at this select everything and uh, you make a task force from the selection and now you can just do anything affecting the entire task force which is just awesome so the task force you can create a new route in case you need it or you can proceed with the task force and look what happens boom all the waypoints for all the units are automatically plotted and uh, as you can see the vehicles are now moving around with the infantry I think this is great for me at least that you know I'm a bit interested in also combined arms this is just game changer for me and uh, they're moving pretty nice you know <laughs> as it happens they are going to be a bit uh, they're going to start to you know do their own thing from here if they get engaged the vehicles may feel like you know moving ahead and leaving the infantry and vice versa so well but that's just combat you will have to go there and intervene and maybe create new waypoints for the entire tax task force but uh, you know this works pretty pretty awesome you see the speeds are coordinated and everything is so right and I can leave this formation now and go back to my tanks which are right here and uh, that is pretty much all I wanted to uh, to show uh, the tanks right now are in a position where they're often offering support by fire and uh, well it is time to reconstitute that immobilized tank has been repaired so it is about time to just uh, reconstitute the unit and this is what I want to do 
so there's gonna be some moving around and that's pretty much it guys uh, I love to see the infantry moving forward this just makes my day so we're in a very good position to uh, take objective Buratino I'm not moving my tanks over there that's no place for the tanks and uh, well of course the video would be too long if I have to do the part where we just uh, <laughs> move into the second objective uh, Tarhum but um, so I'm gonna leave it here I hope you have enjoyed I apologize for the kind of long video but I just wanted to show you as much as I could this um, showcasing was absolutely not extensive and uh, there is uh, more features I am you know still owe you using those uh, new maps that we do have available now but uh, that's gonna be for another video all right so stay sharp keep gaming and thank you very much for watching